Okay, so let's cover AND operator in this video. This shouldn't take too long. So let's say we have a table like this. I'm going to go here and start with my equal sign to start a formula. And I'll take the first name, which is A2. And then if I try to do plus B2 with a plus operator, I hit enter, I'm going to get an error. So with plus operators, we're expecting to have two numbers that we're adding together. So this is not going to work. However, if we replace the plus with and, which is ampersand, that will be basically plus for text. So we're adding those two things as text together and we're returning a value. Now, like any other formula, we're not limited to a single action. We can simply then do another and, do another value, do another and, do yet another value, and then it will join it all together and get us one long piece of text from those combined. And obviously we can drag it down and it's gonna do it for every single row. I'm gonna undo this, get back to this. Uh, that being said, if we're trying to combine first and last names together, which will be this and this, we probably want a space between first and last names. So to accomplish that, what we'll do after we do the first name and we do the and for a plus, we are going to add our own text. So the way you add your own text in a formula, you always put it in quotes. So if I was trying to do some text like the first name at gmail.com, right? So if I did at gmail.com, this will not work because I'm not putting at gmail.com in quotes. So it's not going to understand that this is text. It's going to think this is some sort of function or a reference and we're going to get an error because it doesn't exist. So to make this work, we're going to have to put this in quotes from both ends. This is our text. We're going to join it with A2. If I hit enter, that will be the first name and at gmail.com. And if we drag, it's going to be the next name at gmail.com and so on, right? Undo. So to expand on this, I'm going to do another plus sign and I'm going to do the last name. So now it's going to be first name at gmail.com, last name. I hit enter. That's what I'm going to get. What I really wanted was a space. So I'm going to go back here and instead of typing at gmail.com in two quotes, which is the current text, I'm going to just type a space. So my space is the text in the middle of first and last name. I'm going to hit enter and that will be first and last name combined with a space. And then we can drag this down and that will get it for everybody. So if we wanted to do something like first name, middle initial, and last name, let's say I want something that will look like this. Not the equal sign, something like that. That's what I'm looking for. So the first name, middle initial with a period and the last name. So to do this, I would do equals and then I would grab the first name. Then I need the plus sign. After the first name, we're looking for a space. So quote space quote for the space. Then another plus sign, which is the and sign really. And then we need the middle initial. So see, we can already see the results. So that's the first name space middle initial. That's good. Plus. After the middle initial, what I wanted was a period and a space. So in quotes, I'm going to do period space. So that's going to add the period and space after middle initial. And then finally, we'll do another and sign and we'll do the last name. I hit enter and that's our first name, middle initial, last name. And we can drag this down and we get it for everybody. Now I'm going to quickly remove this formulas and replace it with just text. So if I copy this, command C, I'm going to right click and paste special and see there is this option paste values only. 
if I do that, what that does, it removes the formula. So now it looks as if somebody just typed all of these in here in the cells. And the reason I did this, I want to show you how to go back from this to multiple columns. So let's say we have the opposite problem. We have first names, middle initial, and last names, but we want one column each. So we can simply just highlight those names, go under data, and under data, we're gonna have this option, split text to columns. If I click on that, this thing is gonna show up. It's gonna say detect automatically. So sometimes it does fine to detect automatically, but we're just gonna choose our own. So we need to separate these first middle initial and last name by using the space. So I'm gonna go here and do space. That looks good. And now we have them separated in three columns. So that would be how to go the other way around to split these things into multiple columns. I'm gonna delete those. And finally, let's use our AND operator together with a function to see how it works. So as an example for this, I'm going to try to get something like this. That's gonna be the first initial from the first name and then the last name. Something like that. We need to somehow get the first initial from this first name. To do that, we're going to use the function left. So left function, if I open it, see the first argument is going to ask for the string. So basically the text, initial text. So that's gonna be this. And again, it does this thing. I'm gonna correct this really quick. Here we go. So it has a second parameter after the comma, which as you can see is optional. So it's in square brackets. It will allow you to choose how many characters you want from the left. So if I do three, close parentheses, I hit enter, it's gonna give me first three characters from that text. And if I drag this down, it's gonna give me first three characters from each one of those. Now, if you skip that argument, by default, that number of characters is one. So if I simply just say left A2, it will simply get me the first character of that text. Now you could have also said comma one, but since default is one, we don't really need to do that. So that's our left, and that's gonna get us the first initial. Now after this, this is the function that returns that M. I'm going to do that and sign to add, and then I'm gonna do period and a space in quotes, and then I'm gonna do another and sign to do another plus, and then the last name. And then we can drag this down to get the first initial with a period and the last name. And that's a few common text operations. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.